like they're, they're truly just aliens, um, amphibians. Every one of them is so unique and cool. Hi ho, the Detroit Zoo here. Join us in Amphibaville as we connect with Grace, a zookeeper working hard to care for the smallest species of the Detroit Zoo. From tiny tadpoles to everyone's favorite axolotls, stick around to see some truly awesome amphibians. Not a lot of our guests know, but we do have a ton of animals behind the scenes, which are a lot of the animals I take care of. Uh, so my normal schedule for the week is I have two clean days and two feed days. So today is a feed day. So today I'm feeding out a lot of night crawlers, some shrimp, and fruit flies, uh, crickets. We have different sizes of crickets as well that we feed out, as well as dubia roaches. We really try to give them the best life we can by giving them that diverse diet. We have um, a ton of axolotls in this room. A lot of them are juvenile uh, and slowly growing and will potentially be on habitat soon. My favorite animal in this room is the fire salamander. This is Agnes. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. Um, and then Bernie, her little boyfriend. And a lot of people get creeped out by our titicaca frogs just because their eyes are kind of freaky. But I think they're pretty cute, especially when they're eating. They sure swam away with our hearts. Now hop into the Frogmobile as we continue our journey across the zoo to see a budding generation of tadpoles who are just starting to get their land legs. Right now I'm gonna feed the adults. Uh, today we chose crickets. And as you can see, they're all trying to jump out. They're all getting out from under the logs. They're getting uh, more excited. Dusky gopher frogs are native to Mississippi. Uh, they actually are called dusky gopher frogs because they live in gopher tortoise holes or burrows. These guys are very endangered. We keep a biosecure colony of the dusky gopher frogs as well as a colony of tadpoles that should hopefully be metamorphing soon into little frogs. Those frogs will then be released uh, to the wild in Mississippi. What important work. It's not called the National Amphibian Conservation Center for nothing. We just celebrated 25 years of conservation work in this building, which is one of the largest facilities in the U.S. that is dedicated solely to amphibian conservation. Let's hear from Grace what it means to her to be a part of this dedicated team. Part of the reason why I wanted to be a zookeeper is conservation. We release thousands of animals every single year and getting to learn about amphibians every day I think is a big privilege. Um, and I feel like we need to do everything that we can to help amphibians. Since they're a little slimy and not really cute for most people, they typically get pushed to the side. But I think that we need to really build them up. Uh, they're, they're just little guys out here. They need our help just as much as the mammals. Thank you so much, Grace, for this behind the scenes peek at some of the species we are fighting to save. You are truly a conservation champion. Until next time, Toadaloo from the Detroit Zoo.